What is authenticity and what does it really mean to be authentic? The more you try to dissect this question, the more that you get lost when trying to find the answer. At its most basic form, being authentic is about being real and genuine. It's about not being a copy of something or someone else. But how can we ever be sure that what we're doing isn't a copy of something? In the past, I've frequently had thoughts arise in my mind that I've considered to be authentic and I've presented them in my videos based off of that notion, only to later remember that it had actually been something that I learned months ago that had been stored in my subconscious until now. The truth is, most of the thoughts and feelings we have on a daily basis are a byproduct of all the things we've consumed over the years. But I feel as though more than ever, people are becoming more and more comfortable with lacking any sort of real authenticity and challenging mainstream ideas and facts. That's because fitting in does what the brain deems to be the most important thing for us it guarantees us safety. By following the crowd, you garner a feeling of acceptance and importance, and I think that makes most people miserable. It is devastating to me to know how many people are living a certain lifestyle simply because they don't want to disappoint their parents or they want to establish a better connection with most other humans. A lifestyle that doesn't at all match with who they truly are and what they truly want to do. But unlike what I usually preach on this channel, if you've been like this up until this point, then it's really not your fault if you haven't been consciously aware of it. And that is because we live in a society. Nah, but actually, people just don't know any better. They're oblivious to their programming. Practically all of us went through the same education system. You know what they teach us in modern education? how to think like someone else. But we're all taught to think like that same someone else that's in our textbooks, so we go throughout the majority of our teenage and young adult years all acting and thinking like the same person or people we had learned about. What traditional schooling doesn't teach you, and what it will probably never teach you, is how to think for yourself and how to think outside of the box. This is something that I try to practice with almost everything I do, but its importance was explicitly reminded to me when I rewatched the movie Dead Poet Society, starring Robin Williams. I personally believe this is a must watch for every single young man out there. I'm sure it would make an impact on you no matter what you identify as, but the entire movie is based around a young teenage male friend group, so that's why I specifically say guys. The movie follows a group of teenage guys attending a very prestigious high school. Out of all of the students who graduate, 75% end up going to an Ivy League. Attending the school requires you to sleep on campus, the coursework is rigorous, you uniforms are required, and you have a very tightly knit schedule with every other student. Basically, everybody looks and talks and behaves the same way in this school. That is, until Robin Williams' character, Mr. Keating, takes the open job as an English teacher. From the start of the movie, you get the sense that Robin Williams' character is a big nonconformist, considering he makes his students rip out the introduction to their poetry textbooks on the first day. Rip out the entire page. Rip! And what's equally as important is what he tells all of his students on that first day, which seems to be the main theme of the movie. Carpe diem, or translated to English, Carpe diem. Seize the day. It means to make every day count, take risks, and live life the way you want to because eventually you'll just be food for worms, lads. The main group of teenage guys shows a particularly strong interest in William's character and sets out to know more about him and they develop a very intimate relationship with him. A relationship that is miles stronger than they are capable of having with any other teacher in this school. Because for the first time, these young guys have a teacher who is truly himself and teaches them that they should do whatever they feel is right in their heart and soul. Boys, you must strive to find your own voice. Because the longer you wait to begin, the less likely you are to find it at all. And not what their parents and teachers are telling them they should do. Throughout the film, the students in this group start living their life without regrets and figuring out what it is they really want to do with their lives. I found it. I found what? What I want to do right now. What's really, really inside of me. A Midsummer Night's Dream? This what? is it. What is that? It's a play, Tommy. I'm gonna act. I don't want to spoil any more than I already have, but it further reinforced the idea that I had in my head that the happiest people are the ones that do whatever the hell they want and not what everyone else is doing. And I truly believe this is what's necessary until society figures out a way to cure itself. Because fitting in is practically like a disease these days. Young teens and adults have more mental illnesses than ever before, and I think a large part of that can be attributed to the decline of free thinking. It's now considered cool to be depressed 
depressed, lazy, miserable, and tired all the time. If that is what is considered to be cool, consider me the biggest loser on the planet. When I started to get more into spirituality and reaching my true self back when I was in college, I had convinced myself that I had become free from societal expectations. But really, I was kidding myself. I still wanted to feel liked. I was scared of what might happen if I decided to become my raw self, and that translated into the type of YouTube videos that I was making at the start of my channel. There was nothing really special or unique about them. I'd read a book or article online written by someone else, and I'd regurgitate it through video format. In this video, I'm going to show you 10 tips to feel and look more attractive. You know when I started to see actual success on YouTube? When I stopped consuming practically all self-help content. When I finally stopped watching self-help content, I finally found my unique voice within this niche. Instead of looking for the answers and external things and people, I looked within and brought a fresh perspective to my content. Now this isn't to say there is nothing to learn outside of yourself because obviously there absolutely is. But the main thing I try to teach you in a lot of my videos is to question your pre-existing notions and beliefs and challenge the status quo. Since you were young, your parents have said stuff like, don't do that, don't drop out of school, play it safe, don't embarrass yourself. And when you ask why, they say something similar or are unconsciously referring to because I or other people consider that to be bad, and this is what everyone else is doing. Now, what if you tried the opposite? Seriously, try this. Whatever you've been doing or thinking is the right way to go about things, try doing the exact opposite for a day and see what happens. Constantly confront what has been instilled to you as truth. And I recommend you do this even with science. Yes, science. I'm not a science denier. I believe in science. Science saves lives. Science improves our lives. Well, mostly. But the thing is, most people don't really understand what science is these days. They think that if they find a peer-reviewed study Study of something online that they are objectively right and they will always be right. And they'll never try to change their mind because of that study. Again, I am not a science denier. I'm someone who understands that science is meant to be questioned and reevaluated. Hell, we used to encourage athletes to smoke cigarettes. Cigarettes were endorsed by doctors, and you think we shouldn't question science for the rest of eternity? But unfortunately, in recent years, science has done the opposite and created very closed minded thinkers. This can be said about when I talk about nofap and retention. I constantly get comments on those videos like, don't listen to this guy, there's no scientific evidence to back it up. Okay, so there's not. That doesn't mean it doesn't completely work. Why don't you give it a try? But unfortunately, those are the people that are so stuck in their conformity bubble that they'll never give themselves a chance to try it. They'll never not conform or challenge scientific studies or any other belief that's believed to be true by most people. What if for once you decided to step outside of the norm and do the opposite of what everyone else was doing or is saying you should do? What if, instead of basing your entire judgment on whether you see a movie or not on its Rotten Tomato score, or you saw the movie anyways. Cause seriously, fuck Rotten Tomatoes. That's one of the prime examples of not listening to the crowd sometimes. There are gems of movies sitting in the dark thanks to the Rotten Tomatoes score, and there is a gem of yourself that is sitting in the dark thanks to your unwillingness to break conformity. What I've found is that the people who decide to break conformity are either absolutely loved, adored, and idolized, or vehemently despised and hated. There's no in between. But whether you love them or hate them, your reason for feeling that way is the exact same. That reason being that you secretly wish you could be like that person. Not exactly like that person, of course. Not with all the same characteristics, features, likes, and dislikes. But deep down, you also wish you had the guts to step outside the norm, think for yourself, and stop worrying what others think. So why not take that leap and seize the day? Thank you to all the patrons on this channel on Patreon. If you don't know what this is, it's a platform I'm putting out exclusive videos and podcasts, and you can talk to me one-on-one -on -one there. The link is in the description to that, patreon.com slash Cole Hastings, and that's it for this video. I'm sorry, I am a little under the weather right now, which is why I sound this way. Hopefully the video was still impactful, as impactful as it usually is. I love you. Hope you seize the day.